Hanger and today we are talking occasion wear. Yes, it is that season when you're likely to be attending either a wedding, maybe the polo or even the races. And yes, we have Ascot only next week, so it's the perfect time for me to bring you a look that you can wear to the races. Now, I was a style expert at the Newbury Race Course, so this is one of my topical areas, and I was on hand giving people expert advice on what they should wear if they are new to the races. I mean, there's a lot to think about. You've always got to think about the hat, of course, and that is a huge dilemma that many people face. Now, when it comes to hats, it very much comes down to personal style and preference. But what I would say is if you're going for quite a... Uh, statement outfit so if you're going for a very statement print or something that is is very quite voluminous in shape then i would always pare down the hat and keep it very simple and classic likewise if you're going to go for a big elaborate hat always make sure that your look is pared down now another top tip is to always make sure that you keep it elegant sophisticated and feminine now sequins tight fitting clothing and definitely short clothing is completely out of the question that will look like you're going more for a night out and not to the races so a good reference point is to think about something that's going to come to the knee or just above the knee now a-line styles work very very well and they suit lots of women of different ages and certainly they work very well with people who want to hide their hips and their thighs and what's great about an A-line shape is it's always going to draw you in at the waist and give you that beautiful A-line silhouette. Now let's not forget that you do need to pack either a jacket, a shawl or a bolero of some kind. And today I'm wearing a gorgeous navy bolero inspired jacket by Beaver. Now the reason I paired this jacket with this dress is it's very loose and flowing in style so they match very very well and it brings me back to that point of wearing something that's very feminine, elegant and sophisticated. You can imagine that somebody like Kate Middleton would wear this and she's always a good reference point for something that you would wear to the races. Now in terms of shoes, I would go for a high heel ladies if you do want to remain that glamorous look. But let's not forget that it can get wet at the races and trudging your heels through the mud is never a good look. So a nice alternative will be to opt for a wedge shoe. And let's think, maybe pack a pair of flat pumps in your bag just for safety measure for later on in the day because it is an extremely long, long day. So what I would say is when it comes to accessories, always opt for a bag or a clutch that is big enough to pop in your essentials, not forgetting your oversized shades if you're lucky enough and the sun is out. Now if you want to recreate this look, simply click on the links below and you can visit the stylehanger.co.uk where you can check out some other looks that I've created for this season.